What is the normal range for hemoglobin A1c? If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more diabetes-related content. Hello everyone! Welcome back to our Diabetes Education Series. Today we will be discussing a very important topic, understanding the normal range for hemoglobin A1c, also known as HbA1c. Before we dive into the details, let's first understand what HbA1c is and why it is so crucial for individuals living with diabetes. Hemoglobin A1c is a test that measures the average blood sugar levels over the past two to three months. It gives us an overall picture of how well someone's diabetes is managed. Understanding Hemoglobin A1c now, let's talk about the normal range for HbA1c. The American Diabetes Association, ADA, defines the target range for most individuals with diabetes as below 7%. However, it's important to note that the target range may vary depending on individual circumstances. Interpreting HbA1c results so, what do these numbers actually mean? When your HbA1c is within the target range, it indicates that your diabetes is well controlled, and you have a lower risk of developing complications. On the other hand, if your HbA1c levels are consistently above the target range, it suggests that your blood sugar levels have been elevated for an extended period, which can lead to serious health issues. Individualized targets It's important to remember that the target range for HbA1c may vary based on factors such as age, overall health, the presence of other medical conditions, and individual goals. For example, older adults or those with certain health conditions may have a higher target range to avoid the risk of hypoglycemia. Collaborating with your healthcare provider. To determine your specific target range, it's crucial to work closely with your healthcare provider. They will consider your medical history, lifestyle, and overall health to establish an individualized HbA1c target. Remember, every person's diabetes management plan is unique. Monitoring HbA1c. Regular monitoring of HbA1c is essential for managing diabetes effectively. For most individuals, it is recommended to have this test done every three to four months. However, your healthcare provider will determine the frequency based on your specific needs. Lifestyle modifications Achieving and maintaining a healthy HbA1c level involves a combination of medication, lifestyle modifications, and self-care. These may include regular physical activity, a balanced diet, proper medication adherence, stress management, and regular blood sugar monitoring. Adjusting targets for pregnancy during pregnancy, the target range for HbA1c may differ. For women with diabetes who become pregnant or are planning to conceive, it is vital to consult with a healthcare provider specialized in managing diabetes during pregnancy. They will establish an appropriate target range to ensure the well-being of both the mother and the baby. The Role of HbA1c in Diabetes Management Now, let's address the significance of HbA1c in diabetes management. It serves as a valuable tool for assessing long-term blood sugar control. By monitoring your HbA1c levels, you and your healthcare provider can identify trends, make necessary adjustments to your treatment plan, and evaluate the effectiveness of any interventions. Beyond HbA1c 
While HbA1c is a critical marker, it's important to remember that it doesn't provide a complete picture of your diabetes management. Other factors, such as blood glucose monitoring, can provide real-time information about your blood sugar levels and help guide immediate treatment decisions. Wrapping up To wrap up, understanding the normal range for hemoglobin A1c is vital for individuals with diabetes. By working closely with your healthcare provider, monitoring your HbA1c levels, and making necessary lifestyle modifications. You can effectively manage your diabetes and reduce the risk of complications. Thank you so much for joining me today. Remember to consult with your healthcare provider for personalized advice regarding your HbA1c target range. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more diabetes-related content. See you next time!